welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the Hummel, the tier 6 German SPG. This one's located on the north spawn of Cliff and it's under the command of Talon 1958 and it's his latest contribution to win the weekend lion in the competition with Angelina 75. Now she's solidly in the lead at the moment with a second class tanker, a confederate and a bruiser. Let's see how Talon gets on in this game. Well, you can see straight away he's got the stock howitzer because, of course, that makes this arty much, much better. It's the stock gun, is the top gun from the gorilla, but it's got a fantastic trajectory, which means that it can fly high over obstacles and houses and rocks and hit the enemy really hard. It's also got a faster reload as well. 480 Alpha. And, ooh, enemies made it up onto the donut already. But you can see that chappy, he thinks he's hiding behind that rock. He's not safe there. Rounds out. That's a direct hit. Now, that chappy's got very low armor, so he is going to take that shot and be badly damaged, possibly even penetrated. Looking towards the uh, center of the map, we can see a Panzer 38 Nur Art. Oh, and a T-82 HMC, but she's just out of range. So Talon's going to move a little further forward just to see if he can hit that T-82. Going back to the aim again. There's the T-82. He's on the move. Can you get a hit? Well, it looks like our teammate in the other arty, the Panzer Seb Spalapeta 4B, is also firing in that general direction. And the T-82 player, well, I'm not sure he knows how to play that RT very well. Ramps out. Oh, one shot kill. The T-82 is gone. It was um, kind of bold of him to be up there, but he is out the game. That leaves the enemy with only one RT now, an SU-8. Okay, we've got a Chihi in the center. The standard reload for this RT with the stock gun is actually 25.89 seconds i think is it no it's uh, 25.37 seconds rounds out oh a direct hit on the dspz but these enemy tanks are now in great danger because they might be taken out by talon so it's going for the act and i seek again chihi Oh, now there's several tanks all trying to get up onto the donut at the same time. Chinakai, which is a premium, and he hits him on the engine bay for 213 hit points. He tracked him momentarily, but he used his repair kit, and he's still there. We're still reloading. I think he's probably going to fire a blind shot in there just in case. There's the Chi here, the Chinakai, and he's out! He got him! He fired the round in, almost blind. You could just see the marker, but you couldn't actually see the vehicle at all. And he's got the kill, so now he's got two kills. Okay, there's a Chihi still in the center. He has been damaged. And over here, we've got a DSPZ. He's hit that guy before, fully dialed in, rounds out. High trajectory shell. And it's a kill shot, 203 hit points right onto his engine deck. You can see how good this RT is, even when it's close to the enemy, it's almost like the 4.5 inch howitzer, except of course this is a 15 centimeter gun, because the 4.5 inch is a lot less on calibre. Okay, box tank. He's going to have that one now. Tier 6 Soviet tank destroyer, premium at that. Rams out. Can he get this over the rock? No. Unfortunately, it does hit the top of the rock. It looks like the Panzer Sebsweiler is also firing in the same direction. Or I should say Heishrek, because that's uh, um, its other name. Okay, Hetzer. He's backing up and turned around. He's on the move. Is he going to stay there? It looks like he's just behind that tree, but he actually moved to the bottom. We'll get another chance. I must know that that RT round landed near to him. Oh, and he's gone. That's a pity, actually, because we could have done with that kill. There's only three enemies left. They've got the box tank, 
a stug dry asurungi and the eshi weight and we don't know where the eshi weight is but we're guessing he's somewhere in this vicinity oh we just saw the tracer he's definitely behind those bushes and shells are actually headed in that direction Yep, somebody's firing in that direction, so the issue is probably behind those bushes. There's the box tank. He's gone. That means there's only two left now, the Stug and the issue 8. He's going to try from behind the bushes. I think that's probably about right. Rouse out. Oh, he's got him! That's the counter battery. He took out both enemy arties and he got a direct hit on the SU-8 to take him out. That means there's only one enemy left, the Stug Dry Al G. And we've got a request for a platoon. And we platoon with our other RT on our team. He's um he hasn't got any kills, but of course Talon's got four kills now. There's the Stug. Rounds out. This one's gonna hit. Oh well, it splashed him. A hundred and oh, only 16 from the splash. 155 from the stun assist. We're going to try again if we get the chance. No, we don't get the chance because he's gone. And that is the end of the game. That was a massive game from Talon 1958. He's been having some really bad games recently, but that was superb. Very accurate shooting indeed. It was a second class tanker from Talon 1958 in the Hummel. He got a counter battery fire medal because he took out both enemy RT, the T82 HMC and also the SU8. He also got a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got four exactly. A bruise medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 10. And he got the high caliber for dealing the most damage in that game overall. And his win eight was 3,341, which is actually better than Angelina's. Let's have a look at the team score. Well, the highest damage he managed to achieve was 1,697 hit points. The second highest damage in the game turned out to be the BSPZ on his team with 1,148. And the third highest damage was the Sud Dai Al with 1,106. When it came to kills, yes, Talon got that one. Four kills. Three kills went to the Eshu 8 on the enemy team, so he must have been a good player. And two kills went to the Giro, the Hetzer, and the Type T34 on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, yep, Talent got that one as well. So he got the top in all three columns. 757 is not a huge amount, but then there wasn't a lot of stun assists. 562 went to the DSP Zen. 543 went to the Chaffee. Now he fired 11 shots, which is a decent amount of shots to fire in a game, especially a quick one, quick one like that. Seven enemy, uh, seven direct hits on the enemy, three penetrating shots, and six splash. I think we can take it that he penetrated that chaffy yes he did 506 hit points on that guy who was sitting behind the rock and he thought he was safe no he wasn't the other penetrating shot on the t82 hmc which uh penetrated him for 200 hit points wiped him out of the game and the third one well it wasn't that tank it was the dspz the one he hit on the engine deck 391 hit points out of that one and it went straight through his engine deck cover so, very good uh, penetrating shots. He also got six splashes. Damage of 1,697 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. Damage six of the enemy, killed four. 367 hit points of stun assist of five stuns. The reason he didn't get anything higher than the second class was he didn't score much in the way of stun assist. So you can see that's where he was limited in this game. On a premium count, he made a profit of 84,687 credits for the game and 2,271 experience points as well. And yes, he will take the lead. I actually had to upload uh, Angelina's replay into uh, Salty Jedi to get the win eight figure because they both have the same. They both have second class bruiser and confederate, um, whereas Talon has a second class bruiser. Well, he also has these medals as well and a high caliber. So he's got a medal, a bruiser and a second class. But he's got a higher win eight. So under the rules, it's the win eight that counts if you've got a matching set on the others. Yes, Talon does have the counter battery and the fighter badge as well. Those do help. But it's really down to the fact of the mastery first. So whoever's got the highest mastery, then it's the medal. And if they both got mastery and medal, then it goes down to win eight. And in this case, we can see Talon's got 3,341 on win eight. 
and Angelina only had 2,692 with her game. So, Angelina, I'm afraid you lost it at the last moment. Unless you supply another replay by tomorrow morning, um, Talon's going to have the lie-in <laughs> uh, for the first time in three weeks, I think it is. So, um, very well done to Talon for that game. It was a good one. He was really smacking those enemy tanks with very accurate shots. And I think he probably would have ended up with even more damage if um, some of the enemy had uh, cooperated a little more, like that uh, box tank. Um, but that shell hit the rock instead. All he did is get some stun off that one. The Chinookai shot, that was brilliant, actually. I, I, I probably wouldn't have taken that shot because uh, I couldn't see the tank. All I could see was the marker for the tank. And so presumably he was there, but I didn't know if I had a clear shot to actually get him. So very well played by Talon to take that shot and to get the actual kill out of it as well. I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.